What is up guys, it is Nick, and we are back on the Red Sox franchise, sitting at 36 and 9. We'll take a look at stats after we go over some of the stuff here. But as you can see, uh, the Texas series, we started off hot, uh, winning three of, uh, or the, winning the first three. Mookie Betts went 0 for 4. Um, no one real notable in this 3-1 win when we got all three of our runs in the first inning, and then nothing after that. Um... Colton Wong got the start uh, and stole a base in the game. Uh, Mookie got caught stealing, and I think that's about it. Chirinos hit a home a solo home run, um, and that was Texas's only run. It was off of David Price, Edwin Diaz, and Kimbrel picked up the hold and the save. Um, Doug Fister took the loss, but pitched pretty well after he struggled in the top of the first. In the second game, it was Matt Moore against Chris Sale. Is that right? Matt Moore against Chris Sale? Or no, Chris Archer. Matt Moore against Chris Archer. Matt Moore went six innings and gave up three earned in the top of the sixth. Other than that, pitched really well, pretty well. Bartolo Colon came in um, for three innings in relief. Chris Archer went six, gave up three earned, struck out nine. Joaquin Soria came in and got two out and then gave up a hit, and the lefty came up, so I put Amir Garrett in. He walked a guy and gave up another hit to load the bases and then got the out. Uh, Hirano came in, and then Kimbrell picked up the save. Um, let's see. We had a three-run home run from Mookie Betts. That's the three runs in the top of the sixth. Um... Errors by Colton Wong and Nunez, and Eduardo Nunez stole two bases. No real other notables. Had a couple of two-hit performances by some guys, but nothing special. We had Mike Miner against Marcus Stroman next. Uh, Mookie Betts went one for four. Four for five for J.D. Martinez, and two for four for Teoscar Hernandez. J.D. homered twice. Mookie homered once. Uh, Mookie hit a grand slam in the top of the fourth. Um, and then I believe believe JD hit a homer after that. That's how we got the five runs in the fourth. Uh, Mookie got caught stealing twice. Uh, Stroman went six and a third, gave up three runs, um, and gave up the three runs in the top of the seventh. Um, otherwise, it would have been a really good outing if I would have just pulled him after six, but his stamina was really low, so I thought he could go. But that was not the case, so uh, he was relieved by AJ Ramos, who went two innings struck out three and then Edwin Diaz came in to not save the not get a save but he came in to close the game out for the final two outs Mike Miner took the loss Jesse Chavez came in and uh, gave up three earned the final game was a game that the Texas Rangers won uh Mookie Betts went 0 for 4 4 for 4 for Sandy Leone was an interesting stat line to me J.D. Martinez and Teoscar Hernandez hit solo home runs. Those were our only runs of the day. Um, I believe we actually got a rally going in the top of the ninth and loaded the bases, and then we didn't do anything with it. Isaiah Kinderfalefa hit a home run. Uh, Tyson Ross took the loss, gave up six earned over five innings, ten hits, and seven walks. That's an crazy... He put 17 people on base in, 15, er, in, in five innings. Uh, Hansel Robles came in and went one and third, gave up no earned. Garrett and then Edwin Diaz came in because I, I thought we might have a chance if I could get it there as 6-2 to two, that we might have a chance. So I put in Edwin Diaz. Uh, Bartolo Colon went eight innings, gave up two earned. Um, Jepsen and then Claudio combined for the save. Then we went to face the Yankees and lost four to five. This is another game where we loaded the bases, so it was three to f three for four for Mookie. He's pretty much the only notable. He homered twice. Moreland homered once. Uh, for the Yankees, uh, Miguel Andujar homered once, and Aaron Hicks stole two bases. This was on Chris Sale. They got five on Sale. Uh, four. The Red Sox were able to get four on Tanaka. Technically, Sale pitched a complete game of eight innings. Uh, he gave up 10 hits, five earned. Not a good game. Eraldis Chapman got the save. Uh, maybe this this is the one where we loaded the bases, but we'll get to that. David Price and Sonny Gray. The Red Sox won 9-2. Mookie went 4-5, for five and Bogarts went 3-5. for five. Uh, Mookie with a home run. He had the only home run, and Bogarts had a triple. Mookie stole four bases in this game, and Bogarts stole two. 
Uh, the Yankees had a home run and a double RBI double by Stanton for their only runs. Uh, David Price's run was unearned, and Amir Garrett gave up one earned. Edwin Diaz locked it down in the end, and Hansel Robles came in to lower that ERA again. It's been pitching pretty well for us. Uh, Sonny Gray gave up five, and then Green gave up four. Uh, and then Batances came in to kind of close it out. Batances having a, sh a rough season so far. So game um, game three against the Yankees, it was Amir Garrett who took the loss and Warren who took the win. Mookie went two for five. Uh, and this was a game that we loaded the bases, I believe... It came up Bradley and Vasquez got out, and then Mookie, Bogarts, Benintendi all singled, and then I think JD flew out on the track. I believe, I believe I watched this at bat, or did I do this at bat? I don't remember. I, I believe I yeah I did the at bat, and JD flew out uh, to the warning track uh, away from a. He almost had the grand slam. He he flew out to the warning track, but Bogarts. JD and Devers all homered in this game. Benintendi stole two bases. Uh, and Duhar and Bird homered. Chris Archer gave up five earned over five innings pitched. Garrett gave up two innings and took the loss. Uh, and then Ramos kind of came in after we tied it up. And then, yeah, Garrett came in and blew the win. Or blew the, the tie in the bottom of the eighth. Uh, Sabathia, five earned. Then we went to Toronto and won an 8-6 game against Eduardo Rodriguez. Mookie 3 for 5. JD Martinez 3 for 3. Betts homered twice. Bogarts homered. Um, let's see here. Tulo, Grichik, and Maley all homered. Uh, Stroman went 7 and gave up 4 earned. And then Garrett came in and gave up 2 earned. Uh, Edwin Diaz got the hold and Kimbrell the save. Eduardo Rodriguez gave up eight earned in three innings pitch. Joe Biagini came in and pitched four solid innings. Then it was a 3-0 win. Tyson Ross got the win against Jaime Garcia. Mookie, really the only notable, went two for four. No one else had more than one hit. Benintendi did homer. Um, the Red Sox only gave up one hit, walked Justin Smoke three times, and walked Russell Martin twice. Um... Other than that, Pilar stole a base, but Tyson Ross went one hit, four walks over seven innings pitched. Then uh, Edwin Diaz and Kimbrell came in for the hold and the save. Jaime Garcia took the loss. Uh, Tyler Clipper did come in and give up a solo shot to uh, Andrew Benintendi before getting pulled. And then it was a 4-2 win for Chris Sale. Um, no real notables. Two for four for Nunez. Mookie Betts homer. Nunez stole two bases. Um, home run for Luke Maley off of Chris Sale. Chris Sale went eight innings, two earned, and Edwin Diaz picked up the save in this game. Um, Aaron Sanchez picked very well in this game, uh, and Roberto Azuna took the loss with three unearned runs in the top of the ninth. Then it was an Oakland series, a 9-3 win against Frankie Montas. Red Sox were back home. Mark Canna homered for the... Oakland A's, Mookie Betts went one for four, Benintendi three for five, two for three for, Ti or for Cesar Hernandez uh, with four RBIs. Uh, Devers walked twice, uh, but it was a home run by Benintendi, Tiasker, Her or Cesar Hernandez. I always going to get a miss. I'm going to get a mixed up. I think it was Cesar Hernandez and one for Devers. Betts stole a base, but also got caught twice. Frankie Montas gave up five earned over four and two thirds. David Price went seven, gave up one earned. Uh, and uh, A.J. Ramos came in for uh, the two outs, the, or the final two innings. Then it was a 7-1 win against Andrew Triggs. Let's see here. Colton Wong uh, went two for five. He led off. This was kind of a weird game. So Colton Wong led off, and Mookie Betts um, got the day off, so Wong led off. And he did pretty well, two for five, not bad. Uh, Xander Bogarts went three for five with three RBIs. JD, two for four, a bunch of two for fours. Uh, Mookie came in to bat for Benintendi against a lefty, and uh, I believe he flew out. Uh, Bogarts hit two homers. JD hit one, stolen bases for Wong and Hernandez. Uh, Chris Archer went seven, uh, gave up one earned. Garrett and Hirano came in for one inning apiece. Then it was a 2-1 win for Marcus Stroman against... Uh, who uh, who uh, was... Uh, 
Mengden started and gave up a run, and then Santiago Casillo gave up the game-losing run. Stroman went a complete game, one earned, 12 strikeouts. Uh, Mookie Betts stole two bases, and uh, Matt Chapman had a triple. Then we went and just one game against Baltimore, a 5-6 to six loss. Alex Cobb the win, Tyson Ross the loss, and that'll get us to the Gabrielli Noah versus Chris Sale matchup that we have going on here. So let's take a quick look at this before we hop into that. So Manny Machado and Mancini had doubles, home runs for Jones, Scope, and Alvarez. Scope also had a triple, stolen bases for Machado and Cisco. Uh, Mookie went 3 for 4, 2 for 5 for both Benintendi and Martinez, 2 for 4 for Tiasker, and 2 for 3 for Rafael Devers. Home runs by JD uh, Tiasker Hernandez, I think, and one by Devers. Stolen base for Mookie. Cobb went 7 innings, gave up 2 earned, and then we got 1 run on uh, Brad Brock and 2 on Zach Britton, but it wasn't enough to win. Tyson Ross gave up 6 over 6. One inning apiece for Joaquin Soria, Amir Garrett, and Hirano. So we'll take a look at our stats before we hop into the game. So, player statistics. Mookie uh, and JD have played the most games, 45. Benintendi, 43. And Xander, 42. At-bats, Mookie leads the team with 19 more at-bats than anybody else. Uh, 47 runs for Mookie. 39 for Xander. 37 for JD. Hits, Mookie has 80. Uh, Xander is next with 63, 22 home runs for JD Martinez, 20 for Mookie, 12 for Xander, 8 for Tiasker, RBIs 58 for Mookie, 57 for JD, 32 for Bogarts, and uh, 29 for Tiasker Hernandez. Stolen bases, Mookie has 29, 21 for Xander, 17 for Eduardo Nunez, and 16 for Benintendi. Average, Mookie hitting 410, Xander 368. JD is hitting 341, Cesar Hernandez 315, Rafael Devers is 314, and Tiasco Hernandez still hitting 293, respectable. On base percentage, Mookie 448 has not taken a whole lot of walks this year. Uh, Xander Bogarts 443, and JD 401. Uh, slugging percentage, Mookie 841, 750 for JD, and 690 for Xander. OPS, Mookie, JD, and Xander all over 1,000. Uh, walks. You can see only 12 walks for Mookie. 20 walks for Andrew Benintendi and 19 for Tiasca Hernandez. 18 apiece for JD Bogarts and Cesar Hernandez. Cesar Hernandez has been cold, but he's still batting over 300. Strikeouts, JD 43 strikeouts. Uh, doubles, Mookie has 20. 15 for Bogarts. Triples, two apiece for Bogarts, Betts, and Devers. Uh, anything important here? Stolen base percentage. Eduardo Nunez is tops on the stolen base percentage. Um, he's been caught stealing five times. Um, Mookie has been caught stealing 13 times, but has also stolen 29 bases. Uh, errors. Mookie playing second, to be expected. Uh, let's see here. War. Mookie a 3-9. War 3-6 for Bogarts. K percentage. It's a high K percentage for some of these guys. That's pretty low. Mookie down here with an 11% K percentage. At-bats per home run. 52 at-bats per home run for, for old Mitch Moreland. <laughs> uh, what is it? What, who's the lowest? JD, every 8 at-bats is homering. Mookie, every 9.8 at-bats. Uh, I don't think... Okay, let's take a look at pitching real quick. So David Price and Chris Sale have our most innings. Sale 14 and a third more than, than Price. Most wins goes to David Price. Um, Stroman has not yet suffered a loss. And Kimbrell or Diaz haven't blown a save. Uh, let's see here. Strikeout, 78 for Chris Sale. Earned run. Soria with a .82 in 11 innings. Hirano a 1.04 in 8.2 innings. Ramos a 1-2-9 and 14-20 innings for Edwin Diaz, only 1.35. Kimbrel 19.1 for 1.4. And Chris Sale, the lowest starter with a 205. Let's see. Complete games. Uh, Sale has two. Stroman has one. Uh, home runs given up. Uh, Joaquin Soria still has not given up a home run. Pitching war, 
Amir Garrett has a negative pitching war. Robles has exactly zero. But Sale, 2.4 pitching war. Uh, Ks per nine. Edwin Diaz has our highest Ks per nine. But that's that's about all the stats. League leaders, uh, Mookie and Xander and JD are all top. They're three of the top four in the American League in batting average. Uh, they're three of the top five or three of the top six if you include the Ameri or the National League as well. Mookie is tops and hits, and it's not even close. At bats, Andrelton Simmons has batted more, and so is Trey Turner. Um, home runs, Robinson Cano is up there with 21 home runs. Manny Machado has 16, a little bit behind. And the NL is just slacking. What, what is the NL doing? The NL top is Josh Bell with 13. <laughs> and then over, we have, what, two, four, six guys over 13, and J.D., Cano, and Betts are into the 20s. But yeah, it is time, so we are going to be um, playing this Gabriella Noah against Chris Sale. We are only going to play as Chris Sale, so as soon as we pull Chris Sale or whatever happens, um, we're not going to play as any of the relief pitchers, and we're going to do all the batting, but yeah, once I pull Sale, we pull Sale, and that's it. Order pretty much the same. Betts, Bogarts, Benintendi, Martinez, Hernandez, Hernandez, Devers, Bradley Jr., and Leon. Orioles, Gentry, Peterson, Machado, and Jones. Mancini. Interesting lineup for the uh, Orioles today. I don't know if that's their everyday lineup or whatnot, uh, but we got the Orioles 20 and 25 against the Red Sox 36 and 9. Orioles doing a little bit better this year. Chris Sale takes the mound, nine starts, seven and two record, 205 ERA, 74 and two thirds innings pitched, 55 hits, 0.94 whip, 15 walks to 78 strikeouts. He'll face Craig Gentry, who's batting over 300 this year, leads the Orioles in stolen bases. Chris Sale's first pitch taken for a strike. Sale two victories away from win number 100. Fouled off, and Chris Sale is ahead 2-0. Back to the slider, Sale goes, looking for the strikeout. And this one will be lightly grounded. And will he beat the throw? He will. Pulls him off the base. I'm going to challenge, because we never get to challenge. I don't think we got him, but we never get to challenge, so... Oh, we got him. We got him. I think we got him. Did we get him? Oh, we got him. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I thought. That was a good challenge then. Shallow pop-up for Devers. Is Devers playing for us today for out number two? Brings up Manny Machado. Which, if the Orioles suck, I do have interest in potentially talking to them about a Machado trade. Like he got dealt in real life to the Dodgers. And it's a foul ball by Manny Machado. I probably should have waited until after the, uh, the trade deadline in order to uh, start the series. But I didn't really think about it, so now it's too late. So, like, J.A. Happ isn't on the isn't on the Blue Jays and Machado's not on the Dodgers. I mean, there's not a ton of huge trays, but... Gabrielli Noah to face Mookie Betts to lead it off. First pitch from Inoa is a ball inside. And this one, a high fly ball from Mookie Betts, and this one is gone. Gabrielli Noah throws a ball and then throws an absolute meatball, and Mookie Betts sends it into the seats for home run number 21 on the season for Mookie Betts. Second pitch right down the middle, and it's one to nothing Red Sox.
Xander Bogarts up now to face Gabrielle Noah. And this one is going to be a flyout. Fly out to shallow. Out number one. Andrew Benintendi trying to get it going here. 265 on the season. But has been stealing bases effectively. Foul to this one off. Is Chris Davis not playing first today? That didn't look like Chris Davis over there. And this one by Benintendi, gonna be a fly out. Yeah, probably more of a lineup. That's more of a line out for out number two. So we know after the solo home run has gotten two, a line out and a fly out. That brings up JD Martinez. And JD's gonna foul this one off. A little bit late and it's a foul tip. And this was a high fastball that gets JD to chase it just slightly out of the zone for strike two. The 0 2 pitch from Enoa. And this one, a high fly ball by JD Martinez heading for the green monster. And it is gone. JD Martinez with a solo home run, and it's 2 0 Boston. Bottom of the first against Gabrielle Enoa. Mookie Betts and J.D. Martinez, home run leaders in the league. J.D. now with 23, Mookie with 21 to tie Nelson Cruz, or not Nelson Cruz, to tie Robinson Cano. I'm always used to Nelson Cruz being like a top home run leader it's Robin, when I see Seattle. But it's actually Robinson Cano in this series. And this one is a single up the middle by Teoscar Hernandez. First pitch swing in an Enoa. Not a good pitch. Cesar Hernandez up now. And this one going to be popped up. It's going to be a fly ball. Will it make it to the seats? It will not. And that is out number three. Cesar Hernandez flies out in foul territory. For out number three. Red Sox get three hits and take a 2 nothing lead to give Chris Sale the lead for his 99th win. Adam Jones up now, 299 average on the season, 11 home runs. Steps in to face Chris Sale. Slider by Chris Sale sneaks in there for strike one. Only eight pitches by Sale. And a ball just outside. The 1-1 one -one pitch. And Adam Jones snared by Chris Sale, out number out number two. Actually, that's out number one. I don't know that the dot popped up before I even recorded the out. Trey Mancini steps in now to face Sale, and he won't swing. A very hittable ball, but he'll lay off of it. The 0-1 pitch. A changeup that just sneaks outside of the zone for ball one. Sail back to work. This one he lays off, but it's another strike. Sail looking for the strikeout. The one-two pitch is grounded up the middle, and that will be a base hit for Trey Mancini. Jackie Bradley will toss it back into Mookie, and there's a man aboard. Jonathan Scope's going to pop this one. It's going to be a fly ball to the warning track. Jackie Bradley underneath it. And he'll toss this one back in as Trey Mancini retreats back to first base. Danny Valencia up now. Noted lefty masher in real life. Probably really not that much of a lefty masher, but he'll take a fastball for strike one. Chris Sale drops a slider in this time. It's 0-2. Chris Sale back to the slider, and this one lightly grounded. Snagged, tossed, out number three. Chris Sale works out of the single by Trey Mancini. And it remains 2-0 Boston. Rafael Devers up now, batting 314 on the season. Steps in to face Gabrielle Noah. 
And this one going to be grounded softly over to... Who is playing first today? I don't know who's playing first today. Danny Valencia is playing first, so it's Chris Davis DHing. I don't even know if Chris Davis is in the lineup today. Jackie Bradley Jr. up. Betting 248 in mostly for his defense. And he'll swing through a change up for strike one. And this one by Jackie Bradley is seen right down the middle and he'll be aboard. Jackie Bradley with a single. And it's one on and one out in the bottom of the second. Sandy Leone up now. Batting 226. Batting way behind Christian Vasquez. We'll give him another month or so to get it going before we uh, we pull him and just bat Christian Vasquez every day. The 0-1 to Sandy Leone. And this one fouled off. Only 15 pitches so far by Gabrielli Noah. Gave up the two runs, but... Keeping the pitch count low. And this one by Sandy Leone is going to be... Lofted into shallow... What is that? Shallow left center. For out number two. Mookie Betts up now. Solo home run in the first. Looking for that fastball down the middle. And this one, gonna make it through the hole. And that's gonna be a base hit for Mookie Betts. So Mookie Betts, two for two on the day. Little ground ball through the hole between second and third. Brings up Xander Bogarts. And Xander, is it going? It gets into the gap. And Xander Bogarts, Mookie bets on his horse, and Mookie will head for home. And he will be safe. Mookie slides in there and is safe, and Xander Bogarts with a two-run RBI double. The Astros have one more double on the, on the season coming into play today, but we should have tied it up right there with that Xander Bogarts double. So a two-out RBI double by Xander Bogarts makes it four to nothing. And Enoa, a high fastball. And Benintendi, is this one going to make it? It will not. A fly out for Benintendi to the warning track. And that's out number three. Beckham, Joseph, and Gentry do up top of the third. Six hits for the Red Sox, four runs in. Tim Beckham up now, face Chris Sale, and he'll swing through a fastball. Chris Sale to the slider, and another swinging strike by Beckham. The 0-2 pitch to Tim Beckham, and he swings through and misses, and Chris Sale strikes out Tim Beckham. For out number one. League leaders and wins. It's David Price, Chris Sale, Chris Archer. It's a bunch of Red Sox. And then Jay Happ and Luis Severino. Both from the AL East. Uh, Justin Verlander also up there. All AL pitchers. in. The, oh, it's all. What am I? It's, it's league leaders. And so that was all American League. Okay. Let me. Let me recompose my stupidity. Ben Nintendi tosses it back in. It'll be a single. Craig Gentry up now. Top of the order back up for the Orioles. Can he get in? He cannot. And Caleb Joseph will hold up and not head for third. And it's two on, one out against Chris Sale. Fastball in there by Sale, four strike one. Jace Peterson popped out in the first. Takes a slider low for ball one. Change up grounded. And they will not get the double play. They'll get the man at second, but can't turn the double. Manny Machado will line out in the first. And is there a guy that you would rather have up if you're the Orioles? 
trying to get back into this game than Manny Machado. But can he deliver? He swings through two pitches and it's quickly 0-2. I'm going to try to get him to chase a couple of pitches. Two and two. Got to hit the zone this time. And this one fouled off by Machado. To the four seam fastball. And this one fouled off as well by Machado. A little bit of a war going on here between Sale and Machado. And this one will be grounded, snared by Bogarts. Tossed over to Devers for out number three. Red Sox get out of the inning. Sale gives up two hits but no damage done. J.D. Martinez in his 23 home runs up to face Gabrielli Noah. And J.D., it gets down and J.D. will be aboard a single for J.D. Martinez to lead off the bottom of the third. Teoscar Hernandez up now. JD with a little bit of a lead. And this one by Tiasker. Will it get down? It will not. JD got to get back. Get back, JD. And that's one out. Gabrielli Noah gets a fly out, and that brings up Cesar Hernandez. He knows still only 22 pitches. I mean, if he's just going to hammer the zone, I got to swing. Like, I got to swing at that. Like. I, I don't, it's not out of here, but I had to swing at that. It's like right down the middle. Get back, JD. That's two outs for Gabrielli Noah. Brings up Rafael Devers. JD will take a little bit of an extra lead, but it'll be a throw over. I'm not going to steal with JD. I just wanted to take a little bit of a lead. And this one going to be grounded to Valencia for out number three. Quick 1-2-3 inning after the leadoff single by JD. Sail back to work now. Top four. Gets a strike in there to Adam Jones. Another fastball in there to Adam Jones, and it's 0-2. Right back to the fastball he goes. And this one will be in there for strike three. Gets Adam Jones looking at three straight pitches for the strikeout. Brings up Trey Mancini. Mancini, who's had a single his first time up. Take a fastball, and Sale is hammering that zone with fastballs. Another fastball coming from Chris Sale, and it's another strike looking. Five straight strikes just taken by the Orioles. The 0-2 pitch. And this one's going to be hit hard. It's a high fly ball. And it is out of here. Trey Mancini crushes a solo home run. And it's now 4-1 to one Boston. Trey Mancini waited for his fastball. And Sale left it a little low. Not exactly where he wanted that pitch. And Trey Mancini hits a high fly ball over the green monster. Dale goes right back to that fastball and drops it in there for another strike looking. The 0-1 pitch from Chris Sale. Swung on and missed for strike two. Another 0-2 count for Chris Sale. He heads to the changeup looking for the strikeout and he'll get it looking. Absolutely freezes Jonathan Scope for out three. Or for out number two. Danny Valencia up now. Slider that slides a little low for ball one. Back to the slider, giving Danny Valencia a little bit of a different look here. Now he'll go to the changeup, 2-0. And this one's going to be fouled off by Valencia. The 2-1 pitch. This one fouled off as well towards the ball boy, and what a catch by the fan. 2-2 pitch to Danny Valencia. And this one going to be hung high. Wanted a low fastball, and it and it rose on him. The 2-2 pitch. 
this one fouled off as well. And they're battling Chris Sale here in the top of the fourth. And Sale drops the slider in there and gets Valencia looking. A solo home run, though, by Trey Mancini gets the Orioles on the board against Chris Sale. Jackie Bradley, who had a single in the run, his uh, run scored his first time up. In the face, Gabrielle Enoa, bottom of the fourth. And this one gets over the head, and it's into left field. Jackie Bradley will hold it first for a one for a one pitch single. Sandy Leone, who flew out in the second, is up. And he'll swing through a curveball. Good curveball by Gabrielli Noah. The 0 1 pitch. And this one by Sandy Leone. A picture perfect double play. Oh, but Valencia can't snag it. Not the greatest of throws by Jonathan Scope. And brings up Mookie Betts. Two for two with a home run and a single. Can he continue his hot hitting? And Mookie, it's a fly ball. It's carrying, it's carrying, and it is off the wall, and my guys didn't run. Somehow this is still going to be a triple. This somehow is still an RBI triple. I, it it could have been an inside the park home run, except he didn't keep running when I held down... When I was holding down L1, he did not continue to run. So, I don't know. It could have been an inside-the-park home run. Isn't an inside-the-park home run? And Xander will swing in a changeup for strike one. Oh. Oh. Ugh. That was just a terrible swing. I have nothing else to say about that except it was a terrible decision to swing at that. Oh, another terrible decision to swing. Okay, Ben Intendi up now, Mookie on third. I think it's possible to steal home. I kind of want to try, we're going to try to steal home just for fun. He didn't get the jump. I don't. I had to follow it off because he didn't get the jump. Move, Mookie. Get down the line a little bit. Okay, I gotta swing this. Is it gonna get off the monster? It might be out of here. It's out of here, Andrew Benintendi. While I was messing around trying <laughs> to steal home, Andrew Benintendi turns on a fastball, and that's a home run. Seven to one, Red Sox. Okay, what is this camera angle? 361 feet just clears the monster. Enoa's gonna stay in the game to face JD Martinez with seven in earned on him. And this one by JD is hammered, but it will stay in for a line out to the warning track to Adam Jones. I don't really think I need to hit anymore. We've achieved the, uh, the lead for Chris Sale. Should probably just pitch for him now. This one popped up. Incoming is Cesar Hernandez for out number one. Caleb Joseph up. He had a single his first time up. He'll take a fastball and swing at it for strike one. 93 mile an hour fastball by Chris Sale. The 0 1 pitch. And another ball outside that Caleb Joseph goes swinging at. The 0 2 pitch. Fastball low, 96 miles an hour. Back to the four-seam fastball, looking for the strikeout is Chris Sale. And he'll get him to swing through it for out number two. Craig Gentry up, one for two on the day. 
55 pitches for sale so far. A slider in there for strike one. Two-seam fastball this time is going to be grounded. Bogarts the snag, the throw, out number three. Hernandez, Hernandez, Endeavors do up. We're going to let the computer hit, and it's a single for Tiasker. A walk to Cesar. Gabriele Noah has been pulled for Miguel Castro. A double play could get him out of this, and it does. Chris Sale now to face Jace Peterson. Top of the sixth. Fastball that goes high on him. 58 pitches for Sale to this point. I would like to pull Sale a little bit early. I've been stretching him a long way, like eight innings, nine innings per start. It's probably a time to pull him at six and give him a little bit of rest. We got a big lead. He doesn't really need to be in there. Maybe we'll go seven, but but I would like to give him a little bit of time to to not relax. But just just he doesn't. He doesn't have to go nine innings every time. Let's strike Machado out here. Fouled off by Machado. But yeah, that's my thought process. So maybe we'll have him go seven, but he's not going eight or nine this time. I just, you know, I know I don't think it really matters for in-game purposes. But uh, I would like to give him rest a little bit. And this one by Machado is crushed, but it hooks foul. And it's a battle going on here between Machado and Sale. Sale with the fastball that's low, 2-2. Two two. This one also fouled off by Machado, a well-hit ball. Slider for sale this time, and just low, and it's a full count to Manny Machado. Adam Jones on deck. This one by Machado, swung on and missed. Strike three. Chris Sale gets the strikeout, and it brings up Adam Jones with a strikeout and a ground out in the game. This one by Sale kind of rises up, but fouled off by Jones. The 0 1 pitch. Taken for strike two. Adam Jones' last time up looked at three straight sh balls in the zone to strike out. Sale hammering that upper part of the zone looking for the strikeout and fouled off. Hit him with the change up here. And this one's going to be popped up. A high, high, high fly ball over to Andrew Benintendi for out number three. Sandy Leone up now. He'll strike out. We got a hit for Mookie. We're three for three on the day. He's a double away from the cycle. And this one is going to be a ground out for Mookie Betts. We'll see if we can get him back up bottom eighth or something. Try to complete the cycle. But Xander Bogart's up now. He'll strike out. Chris Sale back out there. And this will be Chris Sale's final inning of work. Let's get, you know, AJ Ramos. Let's get you up and warming up. And Hirano still has not hit nine innings pitched, so I would like to get them warming up. And Mancini grounded. A little bit of a slow reaction time there by Hernandez, but it won't matter. Cesar gets it over there for out number one. Jonathan Scope up now. A slider in there. Fouled off. Strike one. The old one pitch to Jonathan Scope. Swung on and missed. A fastball that rose a little bit on Chris Sale. Looking for the strikeout of Jonathan Scope, and he'll will, he will get it. I thought he might have fouled it off for a second, but no, Sale gets the strikeout. 80 pitches on the day. I'd love to get Sale out of here under 85 pitches. Fastball on Valencia. 
this one grounded and it's missed and that will be an error I think charge to Cesar Hernandez and Valencia is aboard Tim Beckham up now strike out and a pop up in the game yep. 94 mile an hour fastball by Chris Sale for strike one 96 mile an hour fastball again for strike two and can he get Beckham this time he will Beckham strikes out swinging three pitches for sale Benintendi up he'll ground out JD pops up Tiasker singles Cesar singles brings up Devers who will strike out all right time for the pitching change Let's put in AJ Ramos. I don't get to pitch with Ramos much. 13 games, 1-1 one one record, 1-2-9 ERA. I'll face one batter with Ramos. Fastball sails outside on him. Ooh, fastball just catches the zone. And this one's going to be popped. Can Tiasker get there? He cannot. One two, and this one's going to be popped up. Cesar Hernandez in, and that's out number one. Ramos strikes out Gentry, single to Peterson. Machado singles, brings up Adam Jones. A single loads the bases. We got to come back in here. Trey Mancini, the best hitter for the Orioles today. Fouls off the first pitch, it's 0-1. A.J. Ramos trying to avoid a hit, it's a fastball. 1-1. Slider now. And this one swung on and missed, and it's 1-2. Back to the slider he goes. And this one swung on and missed, and A.J. Ramos escapes the jam. He loads him up. Gets out of it without an earned run. Jackie Bradley up. He'll single. Leon will pop out. And here's our chance. Mookie bets 200th at bat of the season. Can he get... Can he get the cycle? Needs a double. And this one by Mookie will not get down. And I don't know where Jackie Bradley's running, but he's... He's running and he gets doubled up because I don't know where he was going. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out where the heck he was going, but we had top ninth, and it's time for Hirano to enter the game. I haven't pitched with Hirano. He's got eight and two third innings. This will get him over the nine inning mark. Interesting. Can Jackie Bradley get there? He will for out number one. One pitch, one out. Danny Valencia up now. He'll strike out. Beckham pops out, and the Red Sox take the win against the Orioles. Everybody over nine innings pitch now. Mookie Betts goes three for five with a home run and a triple. Enoa gives up seven earned. And the Red Sox pick up the W, seven to one. Eight hits for the Orioles. Not a bad day for them. They just couldn't get the runs in. And we'll go ahead and quick manage this final game with a little bit of quickness. David Price against Dylan Bundy. It'll get us to a break. It's my main thing that I want to get to. So here we go. David Price, a solo home run to Manny Machado. Single by Mookie. He gets caught stealing. Double by Trey Mancini, but no damage done. Tiasco Hernandez hit by a pitch, but nothing. Caleb Joseph and a two-run home run to Craig Gentry. Two-run home run, Trey Mancini. And uh, David Price getting hit around. Jackie Bradley, Mookie lines out, Bogarts flies out. Solo home run, Tim Beckham. Leaving David Price in there for now, but he's getting lit up. Manny Machado grounds out. He'll get through the fifth. It's a solo home run, Rafael Devers. We're going to need more of those. Mookie doubles, but a strikeout. Any hit, and I'm pulling him. Okay. He gets through six. And we'll pull him now for Amir Garrett. Garrett gives up a triple to Gentry, but gets out of the inning. 
single to Adam Jones. Walk, and he loads the bases up. Not a good little inning here by Amir Garrett. To give us any sort of chance of winning, I'm going to put in Edwin Diaz. He gives up a single, scores two runs, and gets three straight outs. Edwin Diaz stays in for the top of the ninth, gives up a double to Machado. Walks, gives up a run, but strikes him out. 9-1. to one. I don't think we really have a shot here. So the Red Sox get beat 9-1. to one. Bundy the win. David Price suffers the loss. Mancini with the home run and a double. And that'll take us to a little bit of a break here in the next episode. I uh, don't really want to play the Tampa Bay Rays. So maybe in the next episode we'll play the Atlanta Braves. So we'll probably play, let's see, Fulte. We'll either play Fulte or Newcomb in the next episode. Um, I don't know if we'll quick manage these games quickly in that episode or not, but the Red Sox sit at 37-10, and 10, obviously the best record in baseball. Uh, the White Sox, the White Sox are leading the Central. Okay, okay, could have never told you that was going to happen. Uh, no one's really even close. The Dodgers are 32-16, and 16. they're the next closest team. They're not actually that far behind. What are they? they got a 6-6-7. Six, six, We're 37-10. Yeah, they're not too far behind, like seven games back of us. But yeah, that's going to do it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop the video a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll be back with the next episode of the Red Sox franchise in the next episode. Peace out.